Hello everyone, and welcome back to Scooby-Doo Unmasked. In the last episode, we rescued Daphne from Zentuo, and in this episode, we're gonna go fight Zentuo, but before we do that, I've got some looking around to do. Specifically over here, where I need to just jump up here, and... Yeah, dang it, I messed that up. There we go! Okay, that was weird. Alright, anyway, now that we have the sausage, there's only one other thing I need to grab. And that's by going all the way over here. And I believe I'm going to have to put on the ninja costume. Or kung fu costume, whatever. So I can go across here. Jump. Uh, hi, random ninja. <laughs> Jeez. Those guys would always scare me as a kid, not going to lie. Just because they always look so spooky. And jump over here. Now I have a hamburger. And that is... I believe all the food items in Chinatown, so very good. Now I'm going to go head back to Shaggy's Kitchen, cash in all those food items, and then, well, fight Zentuo, because there's not much left to do here. Now that I've got everything. Alright, Shaggy, get me some food. There we go. And just like that, I have a lot of health to work with. Very nice. That is very good. So now let's go up here. So then we can go ahead and fight Zen Duo. This is going to be very interesting. Also, hi Daphne. Thanks for rescuing me, Scooby. That was very brave of you. Scooby Dooby Doo. And Fred. Zen Duo is on top of that warehouse. We have to find a way up there. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Now we have to fight a stinking dragon. Granted, it's a mubber-powered dragon, but it's still a stinking dragon. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what we gotta do is... Okay, I need to find 35 pieces of mubber, but the um, gang are gonna help me try to get that... Well, reach that much. And I need to break all these boxes. Hey, giant dragon, please leave me alone. Okay, just need a little bit more mubber. There we go, I reached it. I got hit, but it's fine. Just gonna grab that and head to the machine so then I can go into Kung Fu Scooby. Alright, bring it on, dragon. So, what you gotta do is hit with your Scooby Doo blasts. There we go. Wait for him again to come circle back. Yeah, this beginning stage of it is pretty simple. Not gonna lie. Uh, dang it, I say that and then I got. And I get hit. Cause, gosh dang it. Also, hi rat. Hello. Goodbye. There we go. That's another part of the dragon down. Gotta wait for him to circle back again. Come on, dragon. I've got blasts ready for you. There we go. Got hit again, but that's fine. You need to be careful when he starts using his next move, though. Whenever he gets to that part. Ah, son of a gun. Yeah, these rats are going to be super annoying for this fight. Dang it. Yeah, that's not the move I was talking about, but it's still annoying, that's for sure. Thank you, Fred. You do have a point in Mr. Ink, after all. I mean, he is like the trap dude, but still. I think he comes up with little plans, but you know what I mean. Anyway, there we go. Got another hit on him. This is not going too well for me. Not going to lie. Only because I'm getting my butt handed to me. A little bit. So got to wait for him to circle all the way back again. Do that. Very nice. Go around. Grab another one of these. Need to be careful of the UV lamps. Or, ah, son of a gun. Oh, I forgot you can actually just hit them. Normally. Okay. Bring it on. Dragon again. There we go. Got another good hit on him. Look for him to go back around. Ooh. Again, this boss fight can take a little bit, not gonna lie. Yeah, there we go. How about Down to three hit points, though. That's not good. Now he's gonna bust out his UV lamp eyes. 
Yeah, those are going to be annoying. So, yeah, they basically are just going to take away Scooby's power. So you got to go back in again. And, okay, wait a bit. Grab that thing of Scooby Snacks and fire another blast. Okay, almost done with him. Come on, dragon. Circle back one more time for me to... Dang it. Oh, he didn't get me with his lamps, though. That's perfect. Thank you, Fred. My gosh. You are being incredibly helpful right now. No, 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 no. There they go. Keep messing up my shots at the last minute, so... Gonna go change back into... This form again. Hopefully I'm able to take him down. This time. Please. There we go! He's done! Now let's see who Zen Tuo really is. It's Maggie Z. It was her disappearing act that gave her away. Quite a trick, until I realized she was conveniently near a sewer entrance. Using the dragon as a distraction, she could drop down into the sewer and be gone. <laughs> nice try, Mystery Ink. Like, she's not real. She's... Mother! You can't catch what you can't hold. That sounded like a man's voice. I know what you're all thinking. That voice. I know Jed, and, and that wasn't him. And the mystery continues, but we got basically everything here. Yup. Heck yeah! So now let's move on to the next level. Place? I've pinpointed the source of Maggie Z's radio transmissions. This is it. Like, are you sure they didn't come from that burger joint we passed earlier? <laughs> I'm just asking. Wait, I know this place. Rock and Roller Coaster Land. It's a theme park started by one of my favorite musicians, the Guitar Ghoul. I don't like the sound of that. Who is this Guitar Ghoul? Nobody knows. He appears and disappears. Where and when he wants to. And who are you? Alvin Wiener, the Guitar Ghoul's biggest fan. Tonight, he's on a rampage. He's frightened everyone else away. Well, that's spooky. Guess let's go talk around. I'm a Guitar Ghoul fan, too. Really? Well, he is one of the greatest guitar players of all time. Have you seen the Guitar Ghoul tonight? Oh, yes. What a wonderful, terrible sight he was. Interesting. Daphne, do you have any further comments? We need to find some clues. Okay. Uh, hi, Velma. Actually, I don't need to talk to her yet. Hey, Scooby, any luck finding a clue yet? Uh-uh. Uh, Shaggy, anything good? This place is like mega uber creepy, Scoob. Yeah. And I believe that's it for the dialogue, so I'm going to go find that clue really quick. So, hmm, giant theme park. Where would I hide a clue? I don't know. Probably somewhere over here. Shoot, man, it's been a bit. <laughs> okay, there's a giant token over there, but I can't get that yet. Aha! Of course it's right there. Very nice, so let's go show this to Velma. Let's have a look at it. This is a ticket for the Haunted House attraction. The Guitar Ghoul may be hiding there. Oh no, not this level. Okay, so this level, the Haunted House. This level was like one of the banes of my childhood. And I'm going to go into further detail on it in the next episode of Scooby-Doo Unmasked. So I'll see you all... And one of the most annoying levels from my childhood, but at least I got better at it now. Bye! <laughs>